हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम यू ऑल टू दी अचीवर सड्डा गाइस ऑन 27th ऑफ मार्च यूजीसी हैज गिवन वन नोटिस रिगार्डिंग द नेट स्कोर एंड पीएचडी एडमिशन दे क्लैरिफाइड वन थिंग ऑन 28th ऑफ मार्च दैट इज यस्टरडे अगेन दे हैव क्लैरिफाइड वन मोर थिंग विद द सेम नोटिस सम मोर एक्सटेंडेड क्लैरिफिकेशन हैज बीन मेंशन रिगार्डिंग द कैटेगरी नंबर 3 ऑफ पीएचडी एडमिशंस पर्पस so i will explain thin line difference between that one you understand it previous video those who have not watched please watch that one i explained everything regarding the first notice in the second notice to first notice uh, there is no change but one thing is very clear from the first notice to second notice look at here i will explain one thing so this is the first notice which is given the third one regarding uh, entrance test for the net net as entrance for the phd on 27 now 28 they have given other notice which is here if you look at we know that ugc minimum guidelines are there for the phd 2022 latest guidelines are there so who qualify for the ugc net or a, a csir net or the gate or similar fellowship based entrance examination they can get into phd not only fellowship based non fellowship based also they can able to get into phd admission but in higher educational institution across india now various phd entrance exams are there for a various universities the various entrance exams are being conducted and for some states some common university all universities put together in that state will be common phd entrance test they are conducting and also all over india for every university they are conducting their own entrance examination and some central university are conducting their own entrance examination for the phd and in spite of all these entrance examination students has to give each and every entrance exam and they have to write the net exam also this is creating a complex a uh, complexity for the students to write multiple test and qualify some test they may qualify some test may not qualify so for that to put a police stop for that uh, ugc is giving a direction not a mandate it is giving a direction to follow as of now it is optional because nowhere it is mentioned as a mandatory to follow for all the higher education institution to help with a one national entrance test that is net national eligibility test as part of the implementation of nep 2020 same whatever the 578 meeting from 2024 25 academic year onwards only it means it will not be applicable to the previously already who are doctorate uh, who completed their phd or who got admitted into the phd already for them it will not be applicable this is clearly for those who want to get admitted into the phd from june 2024 onwards only right so for them at uh, this same net score if the student is appearing for the net same net score will be used by the various higher educational institution whether it is a state university or central university they can take or the iims or iits net score into consideration for giving a phd admission right and if the higher education institutions are any doubt in this implementation they can write the mail to this particular given mail that's what a latest notice but i want to bring one more clarification which was previously on the previous video there were certain comments how the admission will be into the third category we know that here we have three category of admissions into the phd category 1 for the jrf who clear the net jrf they will be entering into the phd with a jrf score card right and they are eligible for the jrf fellowship they are also eligible for the assistant professor exam writing they are eligible for phd admission category number 2 who qualified for the net they can get into the phd admission they are eligible to write the assistant professor also but they are can't they can't claim the jrf fellowship because only qualified for the net now third category how the phd admission will happen if somebody has not qualified the net not qualified a net but they are having a net score means whenever they are written entrance exam for the net they have a net score right so the result of net year below one note is there 
result of net will be declared in percentile along with the marks obtained by the candidate those marks can be utilized for admission whether that candidate is qualified for the net or not if they qualified net they'll be going under the category 2 only now the candidate who is not qualifying into the net the score that he got in net examination will be utilized by the higher education institutions to give the phd admission right suppose let me explain with a one example here suppose a candidate has qualified if uh, 150 is a cutoff for the net he has written the net examination but he got only 140 he got only 140 and he has written the net examination but cutoff is 150 he got only 140 this fellow is not qualified as a net if he qualified net then he will be going into the category number two admission for the phd category two admission will happen category three admission generally now the category three admission is that recent entrance examination conducted by the various universities on their own instead of taking that entrance examination separately what the UGC is directing to all the institution is same this candidate whatever the net score is there you take net score into consideration instead of conducting one more examination for the candidate if already the candidate is appeared for the net exam they got some score now but they did not qualify take this score which is percentile and mark will be there take this score 70 percentage and remaining 30 percentage you conduct an interview finally allow them to get the phd admission this is category number three correct now this is category number three those who are getting admitted in category number three they are going to be like this but previously are that's current trend how it is research entrance examination of that respective universities entrance test conducted by that state or central university the mark will be considered here as per the present one but from june 2024 onwards don't conduct the test separately try to use the net score instead of conducting separately entrance exam for your university use the same net score which is obtained by the candidate already they have given one exam so don't try to put a pressure on a student to give one more test and qualify because competency may not be same now use the same net score out of this net score 70 percentage take it remaining 30 percentage you conduct the interview directly for this candidate then on total merit basis you give a phd admission under the category number three but is this category number three people without qualifying in net or jara are they going to be eligible to write the assistant professor exam or not is a question answer is no answer is no look at why it is no here it is mentioned already here category three is admission into phd only phd only means for jrf they are not eligible for assistant professor also not eligible and they are eligible to get only phd admission that too with one more condition what is that one more condition the marks obtained by this candidate in net score who did not qualify net net will be valid for one year sir uh, net will be qualified for if you qualify for net it will be valid for ultimate lifetime but the net score which is obtained by the candidate but he did not qualify the net will be going under the category number three this score will be valid only for one year to get the phd admission this score will be valid only for one year for getting this process of phd admission under the category number three so 70 percentage weightage will be given for the test score and 30 percentage weightage will be given for the interview right that is what mentioned here i hope this is giving a full clarity now they have mentioned a full clear one now this is some more clarity to you it will not be impacting on all the previous aspirant who admitted into phd program or the phd after completion also who did not qualify the net and set that's what no impact means 
Any rule is coming, rule for new one only. Rule will not apply for already existing admissions. Thank you so much. If it is clear to you and if the explanation is more than sufficient to understanding, please do hit a like button and share with your friends and do not forget to hit a like button and do join in our telegram group for the UGC net preparation purpose. Thank you.